Hello everyone, so I am Subha Kirtana. So you could have seen me in many of my courses. I am taking classes both in the Academy platform and most importantly crack UPC season in, in English. So this platform is especially for people who are opting English as a medium of language in the UPC. And this is very important because we are going to do it with India's largest learning platform that is an academy. So how can you get the benefits of an academy through subscription? So when you want to subscribe to the an academy platform, there are two beautiful methods. There are two useful methods of subscribing. I will tell you what are those useful methods. Before that you want to, I am telling you something before that you should know me. So what is about me let's see come so i'm an engineer so four years of teaching experience for civil services and also tamil nadu public service service commission the state i belong to and i have mentored more than 100 students yes of course i love teaching and because of that and i love one more thing about upc and that's anthropology so i'm an anthropology uh, optional uh, aspirant and also a faculty for anthropology I have experience in that also taking classes for anthropology for that now I am uh, mentoring students in terms of anthropology also I have a group especially in telegram where the answer writing sessions are there are and everything at the end of the, at the end of this video I'll be sharing you with the name of those channel and the link of that channel also so I have teaching experience in need to so what are all the classes I have designed for you? Yes, I will tell uh, very proudly that I have designed for you because I know the need of uh, aspirant and what is the UPSC expecting from them. So in that situation, I have designed uh, uh, three courses as of now for you. So one is in the YouTube channel. So in YouTube channel, the first course is Polity uh, Explained for UPSC. So that's the first course. This takes place daily at 10 a.m. So second course is ethics. So this takes place daily at 2.30 p.m. Fine. So live classes, I will interact with you. So uh, if there is, uh, if you are missing the class or any, uh, any other reason, you can have the recorded classes anytime you want to see. So this is in the YouTube. Fine. Next, why I chose ethics is it's GS4, paper 4 and most important mark scoring paper. Apart from mark scoring paper, I want every bureaucrat, you know, who is coming uh, to the service should be an ethical person. So we will discuss more about that. It's a very interesting subject, both polity and ethics. I will make it interesting for you and you need not worry about it. And coming to the special class, you know, I have planned this special class especially for prelims 2020. You know, what is the majority in the prelims? Obviously, current affairs. If I can do it for you, both are happy. So, we are uh, going to do a quick revision like this, chatpat revision, uh, you know, for the prelims 2020. And I told you I have two telegram channels. First is Let's Crack UPSC with Subha. This is for GS. It's an open channel. Anyone can join. An Anthropology 300 plus group, Anthro 300 plus group, see the exact name. I have shared the link also at the end of this uh, video. So in this channel, we discuss everything about anthropology, doubts clearing, answer writing session, correction, everything happens there. Fine. So next. So today we will be discussing prelims 2020 checklist and strategy. Ma'am, the, uh, you know, the slides are very fancy. And everything looks good but you know what are we going to discuss so you might think that I know about uh, UPSC people what people will do is everyone will just sit and study you know study 20 hours per day uh, you know uh, 18 hours per day 15 hours per day but are you doing it right that's the question I'm asking you and some people would have been doing a very hard big hard work you know uh, uh, something that everyone cannot think they, do, they are working very hard but they are not able to clear the exam. What is the reason? Because they lack checklist preparation and strategy. So I am helping with you. You know, everybody have their own style. But this is a base for whatever uh, you have to do. I will give you the base. I will help you with that. And don't worry. I will not bore you, you know, throughout the video. At the end of this video, you will have a clarity. Okay, I'm going to do this. 
now for the next 52 days i am going to do this you prepare the checklist and you do that okay and one more thing when you are doing this checklist is that you write a checklist you tick it tick that checklist or strike down whatever you have cleared you get a satisfaction a psychological satisfaction that encourages you even more to do more okay so when you see okay you have a 10 uh, 10 list so you have like this 10 list so you have this 1 2 3 4 5 6 today you are going to do this so when you do this you are just ticking this you know you have a satisfaction okay i have done this only three more to go i'll do it today so these are all small psychological factors small strategies that will help you to clear this exam very easily come i'll help you next so i told you two plus and iconic so we'll discuss this plus and iconic what is the difference between them the major difference between them i would like to share with you is this one what is this the personal coach daily means question answer practice study planner personalized feedback you know these four things definitely will make you a difference that too at this cost okay you can tell me ma'am 57600 do you think it is very less actually i'll tell you uh, we know very well in upsc time is very very important time is money and money is time in terms of upsc preparation at this situation where where you are investing your time and money is very very important so what happens is that this extra you know uh, services offered by an academy will help you in a very large manner i'm telling you you will get a very good uh, you know marks when you properly follow okay when you properly follow these things it will give you a very good marks and don't worry i am with you at this situation also you can use my code suba and you get a 10 percentage of discount okay 10 percentage of discount so from that you have a discount of so you have to pay you know if you apply my code you have to pay just 57600 in this you have you know for one year you have all the classes including you know you can opt for any any classes including your test batches mains test batch also you have a personal coach you know they will be in touch with in, in, in any time you want to you can ask doubts to them they will guide you you know they will give you personalized feedback you can shape according to the personalized feedbacks so that is the important thing and one more thing you have a no cost emi for 12 and 24 months that is 4800 per month you can pay okay this is 4800 per month is something it's a must uh, spending okay that is the thing next what you will get you will get daily live classes so i had two classes today on youtube and one in special class so these are all like live classes you can in interact with the faculty and you have a structured course and live test and quizzes you know uh, we'll have questions uh, question answer discussion all these things and unlimited access anytime uh, anytime you can watch how many times you can watch everything is unlimited next is that you are going to interact with top educators so uh, patels brunal sir roman saini sir you know they are all guiding students for a long time you know at least for past five years so what happens is that they know what is the trend of upsc and what how you know how uh, the success of educator success of our teacher is they know how to deliver it so that it effectively reaches the students so all these top educators will definitely help you to prepare this in a very effective manner and then there are different courses you can see polity history current affairs economy geography you know almost all subject all the three tiers of exam not just for prelims you know we, it, it's there for prelims mains and personality test That is, that is something very important. It's there for all the three levels. So you can even, no, I don't think uh, we can get courses for practice and strategy in any other platform. You have special courses for that. Even today we are going to see about practice and strategy only. Okay, so these are all very useful. These matter. It's not just the subject. It's not just the hard work you give will help you. More than that, you should give more inputs than that. And definitely I will help you with that. Don't worry fine so in plus platform you have uh, different uh, uh, you know timelines for fee structure and here also you can use my uh, code suba to get a 10 percentage of discount fine next 
and starting with this you know a very good news uh, you know i love memes memes are i can equate you know main answer with memes how main answer and memes are same you know short informative effective simple this is a meme and your main answer should be right same you know you have time you have word limit within that word limit you have to give proper information and that information should be effective so this is like you know now you learned that you now you have russian vaccination and then you have uh, uh, the president and whom we are dealing with simple okay your answer should be like this your preparation also should be like this how ma'am can how can my preparation be like this you should have these kind of notes you should have a you know proper uh, quality notes that do not write you know some people take notes from newspaper they they write almost everything notes is not all notes is not everything i'll tell you how to take notes everything we'll discuss today next this is the checklist for prelims is this checklist very important i'll tell you one incident what happened when i was preparing for the prelims for my first attempt is like uh, i prepared i was studying everything at the end you know exactly like two months before i was studying everything i was having so much books i was so uh, i was so scared my roommate was studying all the time looking at her i got scared uh, it's it's all it's all too much it was too much for me i couldn't handle and what happened you know this happened i just fell on those books and nothing stayed in my mind so what can you do you prepare a proper checklist you prepare a proper strategy and this checklist is something very important first is basics of conventional subject revision keep this in mind revision revision of basics of conventional subject upsc asks basics if you can take old question paper and check upsc do not ask something you know very very serious it's all simple basic understanding based questions are asked in a somewhat twisted manner you know the words are twisted the words are you know having some inherent meaning so that is how it works so if you are strong in basics it works really second is revision of important current affairs so this revision of important current affair means whatever current affairs you are following do not read everything okay what happens is that you should know what is the important current affair how can you how can i know ma'am what upsc expects from you what upsc expects from you is think like a bureaucrat so for for example if there is any current affair if that current affair is not is not having an impact on governance is not having an impact on society is not having an impact on environment you know all these fields it's just a news that's not a current affair a, a current affair especially preparing for civil service exam should have something very important should be a landmark change landmark judgments and then important schemes all these things come under current affairs in terms of world level national level and state level also so this is very very important revision of important current affairs and one more thing don't worry about this i will help you with this because my special classes daily at 7 pm i am doing this a discussion of important current affairs i am choosing the important current affairs for you i am revising that is that alone enough no that's not alone enough revision is very very important again and again revision of important current affairs is very important and then root of the current affairs in subject i have one uh, i have one uh, example for that we'll see that and come so this is one current affair african cheetah so this is one current affair so what is the current affair is supreme court allowed the center to reintroduce the african cheetah to suitable habitat in india under petition of national tribal council of india fine so this is sorry national tribal uh, national tiger conservation authority so this is the current affair so national tiger conservation authority so the supreme court has allowed them to reintroduce cheetah so this is the current affair so what are all the root here so what all should i study so here the roots are one one is ntca this is one root root you have to study about second here you are studying about iucn so the iucn status of any animal or any plant that's important and then appendix 1 of sites 
so the basic understanding of sites is very important and then there are four subspecies this is this is four and then cheetah is officially declared extinct from india this is the history right so now do you understand how you should study a current affair so it's not just studying a current affair start searching for keywords start searching for roots now you have to know about ntca so how so this is national tiger conservation authority it's under the wildlife protection act of 1972 okay so it's under the wildlife protection act of 1972 so it's a statutory body when it is formed under the parliamentary act under the ministry of environment forest and climate change so who is the chairman the a minister environment minister is the chairman and what is the objective so they provide the statutory authority to project tiger that is they give legal authority the statutory authority to project tiger so that everything done under this project tiger will become legal so what are their what is their function is to to uh, conserve the tiger by the strategy prepared by the state government number 1 and if there is any ecologically sustain unsustainable activities like land use of for mining industry and other project within the tiger reserve this point is very important within the tiger reserve this point is very very important so then they have the power of stopping it disallowing it okay so this is how you should prepare a current affair so current affair current affairs route okay so this is most important so when you study about important current affairs this is how you should study and then comes this csat so csat daily 2 hours so what is this so csat what happens is people think that csat paper 1 that is uh, we say gs you know usually we say it as gs and csat 2 but actually speaking it's csat 1 the paper you write in the morning is csat 1 this is civil services aptitude test 1 civil services aptitude test 2 what happens usually is people prepare for this almost for all the year and prepare only for one day before the exam this will lead to a very big problem i'm telling you so what happens is that csat 2 daily from tomorrow you have to prepare for 2 hours from 2 uh, uh, hours at least 2 hours so that you know in the exam hall you will not feel the problem of time consume consumption you will not feel the problem of time limit so in csat the major problem is time limit so without practice that will not help so in an academy you have n number of courses on csat please look at them start practicing okay from tomorrow daily 2 hours of csat is must next revision of maps so when it comes to revision of maps what maps ma'am should i study about see usually international affairs international affairs based map questions come again and again next is uh, you get question based on uh, uh, conservation site especially in situ conservation sites like national park uh, uh, national park and then biosphere reserves you know wildlife sanctuaries these kind of questions come again and again and then in terms of uh, in terms of economics based on agriculture we get question in current affairs sorry in the map and then in india yearbook state based state based current affairs are also asked using maps so in maps international map international current affair mostly you get map based question in site to uh, conservation sites that is also map based in economic activities agriculture or some production industry based map based question and then state based current affairs are also asked under map based question so revision of map has to be done for sure from current affairs what are all the map you have and you should have a basic knowledge of india political what are all the states available what are all the physical features in and around india they are all must okay so these kind of things with latitude longitude all these basic concepts in terms of maps are important next is practice of old question paper so what is this practice of old question paper so practice of old question paper is very important why so uh, i'll show you why practice of old question paper is very important this is the benefits of practicing previous year questions you can focus more on strategy than chasing books so what happens is that 
I will have Lakshmigant, I will have Spectrum, I will have for economics Rami Singh or any book you referred to, I have this, that material, this material, you have video and what you will do is like as I told you, I showed you this, that picture of girl who fall, who has fallen into all the flowers. So that will, that, that's what will happen, you have so much things between you, finally you get confused and you feel very low that you can't complete everything. But if you focus more on the strategy than chasing the books, that strategy is also obtained from the previous year question. So what usually happens is we believe that the test batches, test batches usually will help you to cover the syllabus, you know, have a different approach. But the real strategy comes from previous year question because UPSC is UPSC. So UPSC cannot be... Uh, UPSC cannot be equated to, you know, uh, any test batches. Test batches are must. Test batches are must for covering the syllabus, you know, uh, to check if you are uh, very strong with content. But in terms of strategy, I am telling you, UPSC will help you, okay. So, even some, many test batches are designed uh, uh, in the path of UPSC question paper. Such test batches are very, very important. And then better elimination strategy. So, in UPSC question, you can't just choose the answer. Elimination is very, very important. So, when, when there is a question, one is the right answer, the other three are wrong. So, we should know why those three options came there. That comes if you analyze the previous year questions. And then you will understand the logic behind traps. You know, I have some examples of questions. We will discuss how, how there are traps. How will you get confused? All these kind of things also. I will be giving you some examples. You can save time and energy. Okay. Instead of, you know, doing everything, you can save time and energy. And clarity is more important from uh, important than information. I saw this in the previous year question. I have data. You know, I don't have much data. I definitely cannot memorize almost all the current affairs. I know the important data. I know the logics of all the data. Can I clear the exam, ma'am? Definitely you can clear the exam, provided with you have a proper clarity of whatever you know. Okay, so that is more important. And then increase the self-confidence. When you clear, when you, I know, when you solve these old question paper, you will feel better. So what happens usually is, we cover all the, we try to cover, you know, we definitely cannot cover everything. We try to cover everything and we feel very low that we cannot cover. We believe that, we think that everyone are covering everything. No, that's not possible. The topper, it can be a topper or it can be, you know, uh, second rank, third rank, AR, second, third, fourth, tenth. If you ask everyone, no one can cover everything. But whatever they knew, they had clarity. Okay, that is the most important thing. This I learned from the old question paper only. Fine. So, this is it's the fastest, uh, you know, actually this is from Cheetah. Cheetah is the fastest land animal and I saw a meme and, uh, you know, it's, it's it was very good. So when you try to eat a human and he starts running, that's that's a joke, okay? It's the fastest land animal. We cannot escape, we cannot actually escape from a cheetah. It's the fastest land animal. Okay, these kind of, you know, you, you connect it with you connect it with something funny, you connect it with something you will definitely remember. These kind of connections are very, very important when you prepare for the uh, prelims. Fine. We'll see next checklist. Next is gist of uh, economic survey. And then just of India yearbook and uh, these two are very important. Definitely we have videos on these two discussion. So this is very, very, very important. And then international organization. So now the questions on international organizations are changing. Initially they were asking the ranks in the international uh, reports, ranks in the reports released by international organization. But now they ask about the organization itself. What is the objective? You have to know about what is the objective. Now, don't concentrate on uh, plain data, concentrate on strategic data, you know, objective and then uh, the indices are placed, the indexes are placed on what basis. So, these kind of things are very, very, very important, okay. Next is revision of test batches. You could have opted some test batches. I told you test batches will help you cover the syllabus. So, when you go and revise them, the test batches, whenever the, the designers of test batches are very keen that they want you to cover almost all the syllabus. The test batch split itself, the syllabus split itself will be so clever. So when you revise the test batch which you have already opted for, you will learn two things. So what are those two things? One is 
whatever mistakes you have committed you can rectify them two is you will revise the syllabus you will revise the content okay so this is how this checklist for prelims is very important we have only 52 days from tomorrow i want you to write down this you know in a sticky paper or you can have a diary or a note and you no know, tick tick it you know uh, make a tick mark or strike it down you feel better definitely do that i'm telling you that will bring you a change okay next so now what we'll do is we'll discuss some questions you know i told you i promised you the strategy i'll show you some examples how you can actually find answer you know it can be through elimination method or whatever method i will give you some example so let's go into it not you uh, know without wasting time we'll go into it first recently there was a growing awareness in our country about the importance of himalayan nettle because it is found to be a sustainable source of this is the question okay so this is the question so in this uh, question what happens is that can you guess the answer if someone have attended the previous question someone have seen it now you you will know that the answer is textile fiber okay but actually what you know here the term nettle means fibrous hairs on the leaves okay this is the meaning of uh, hairs on the leaves this is the meaning of nettle so what we will think is you know biodiesel is a very fancy word especially at the term of sustainable development the concentration on biodiesel is very high so what we do is we'll tend to opt for this or uh, you know it can be a drug himalayan nettle so i'll be thinking like okay it can be a drug and for pulp for paper industry we know very well trees are used as pulp for paper industry so can you see these three uh, options all the three options are traps but if you know just this meaning so when you study the current affairs these kind of basics are important you will answer it right okay so can you see how the trap works so biodiesel because you know many times if the psychology uh, some familiar we 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 trend uh, we tend to go for the familiar option it's a psychology we we don't like taking risk so what we do is we feel better when we go for some familiar options think once or twice before going to some familiar options where you actually do not know the question okay so don't worry about uh, attending all the question it's not about getting 200 out of 200 in terms of prelims it's getting above the cut off so you should be attending the question not less than 75 not less than 75 not more than 85 so this is how you should write 75 to 85 questions can be attended if you are very sure you can go up to 90 okay this is is this itself is a risk unless and until you have a confidence don't go up to 90 75 to 85 is a very decent uh, decent question because you know some people without knowing the answer they take the risk and negative marks is there keep that in mind okay very very important next consider the following statements so these kind of questions are very important asiatic lion is naturally found in india only next see this only only is an extreme statement some would have taught you that if whenever you see an extreme statement it's wrong no mostly they are wrong okay but not all the times they are wrong so in india only actually the statement is right asiatic lion is found only in india actually india has a speciality in asia india is the only country where you have both lion and tiger okay this is a speciality of our country so asiatic lion is present only in india tiger is present tiger is also present in india double humped camel is naturally found only in india no that statement is wrong okay double humped camel is not just found in india it's found in other countries also and one on rhinoceros is found in some southeast asian nations also so these two statements are wrong one only is correct okay but you know usually what we think is we think that only is there it must be wrong extreme statement no all the time they are not wrong 
So how can I come across these problems, ma'am? When you study the current affairs, you have to concentrate on the minority factors. How minority factors? These kind of extreme statements are not there in all the current affairs. But when you see some extreme statement in current affair, make sure that you study it again and again or mark it down or write it separately and keep extreme current affairs. Keep it separately and revise it again and again. So when you revise it again and again, when you see an extreme statement, you can find the answer. Apart from all those extreme current affairs, most of the current affairs which are having extreme statement tend to be wrong. Okay. So this clarity should be there. This, this, is, this is called a strategy. You have to choose the extreme current affair you are studying, write it down separately, revise it definitely before going to the exam. So that these kind of questions you can definitely answer properly. Okay. Next. This is a very beautiful question. Usually when you see these kind of sum, mostly these are all having a broad, you know, broad perspective. Okay. The, the range is broad. So what happens, these, all these statements are right. Some species of turtles are herbivores, some species of fish are herbivores, some species of marine mammals are herbivores, some species of snakes are viviparous. In nature, possibilities are very high. Exceptions are always there in nature. Okay. So these kind of nature based question, when you are seeing only, only mostly are wrong in terms of these kind of you know generalized form of questions you can't give only that asiatic line is different asiatic line is a fact but these they did not mention any species it's a general statement they're generally talking about turtles generally about fish you can't gen, you can't you know give an ex, ex, uh, extreme statement there there can be any number of possibilities so here since they have given this term called as sum it means that there is a broad possibility and definitely it must be right. So all the above, answer D. Answer is D. 1, 2, 3 and 4. Answer is D in this question. Next. With reference to the cultivation of carob crops in India in the last 5 years, consider the following statements. Area under rice cultivation is highest. So, you know, uh, forget all the data, you know, everything you just, you just, you know, forget it. See, area under rice cultivation is the highest. Okay, so first statement is area under the rice cultivation is highest. I am not aware of it. Okay, let's keep it. Area under cultivation of jowar, jowar is more than the oil seed. Okay, I am not aware of it. No, let's consider that I am not aware of it. Okay, fine. Next is area of cotton cultivation is more than sugar cane. Possible, you can't eliminate it. Area under sugar cane cultivation has steadily decreased. So when it comes to economics, Okay, when it comes to economics, when you see steady increase, steady decrease, there are very high possibility that this is wrong. Okay, steady increase, steady decrease, especially in terms of economics, production kind of questions. Okay, the steady is not possible. For example, today, today if I'm if I'm producing thousand tons. 1000 kg of sugar can, I, I might produce 1100 kg next year. Next year, it might be 900 kg. Is it possible or not? Can I call this steady increase or steady decrease? I can't call it. The same statement. So, here, I what I'm doing is I'm eliminating 4. So, let's see what are all the options without 4. So, you, are, you can eliminate all the 3. You only have 1. 1 and 3 only. Simple. It's a, it's a logic based question. Okay, so this is how you should solve certain questions, which, you know, certain questions you, you cannot solve with data. You cannot remember all these data. Even if you study the entire economic survey, you cannot remember all these data. In those situations, you can go for these kind of logic-based solving. Elimination methods will definitely help. Okay, next question. Which of the following is issued by the registered foreign portfolio investors to overseas investors? who want to be part of Indian stock market without registering themselves directly. So in this question, there are certain UPSC questions where the answer lies in the question itself. Can you find out, I told you, you know, the answer is uh, uh, there in this question itself. I will give you the answer first. So the answer is D. Participatory note is the answer. 
so i told you that the answer is present in the question itself can you find out which is the answer here so participatory note means i should be a part of i should take part in whatever you can take see here part of the indian stock market i want to be the part of indian stock market participatory note simple that's the meaning participatory note means i want to be part so promissory note means you promise something commercial paper is different certificate of deposit is different simply participatory note it's a direct current affair okay but still if you are not able to find out the answer what can you do is you can do using these kind of these kind of statements okay so this is how it works this is how it works you know in a very simple manner don't complicate not you know complicate don't confuse okay it's very simple very easy next in india the use of carbofuran methyl parathion uh, forate and uh, triazofos is viewed with apprehension these chemicals are used as so these are not in india these are not used why simple okay so carbofuran uh, methyl parathion forate triazofos okay chemistry uh, i'm not i'm not able to understand it okay this is actually it actually it is a direct current affair it comes under the you know persistent organic pollutants uh, persistent organic pollutants under stockholm convention and they are these are these come under the concept of dirty 40 which are all banned because they are very harmful pesticides how i found it this is pesticide is i just saw one word methyl okay we all have studied methane poison i even have i even heard some uh, you know in school we say something when we drink ethyl we dance when we drink methyl everyone will dance before our body everybody dance simple methyl okay pesticides in agriculture okay poison possible preservative in processed foods no poison no fruit ripening agents not at all possible and then moisturizing agents and cosmetic see are you trying to kill me using this moisturizer no obviously not so the answer is pesticide you know we will be keep thinking you know did i study about this where did i study about this carbofuran time waste simple methyl cannot be used it cannot be used in any form of consumption it should it is a poison so pesticides in agriculture okay so these kind of simple things these kind of simple understanding of the questions are very important whenever you you know uh, discuss whenever you study about the current affairs so when you study about the current affairs make it simplified so that in the exam they come to your mind you know uh, link it with something very easily so this is how you should work on okay next what are do's and don'ts very very important so i have discussed about this in some of my classes also but again i would like to tell uh, talk about this to you so uh, you know what is this do's and don'ts first is stay positive you know don't get panicked in the exam hall you know uh, one of my friend what happened was he did he did not know the first 12 11 to 12 questions the first 12, 11 to 12 question itself he did not know so what what many people would have done is they will get panic that attempt will be over but instead he just turned the question paper he started from last and he know all the 99 questions he knew all the 88 questions he cleared this cleared that films with a very massive mark now he is in indian forest service okay so these kind of these kind of positivity is very important in the exam hall don't do not panic okay stay positive read the question completely okay what will happen usually i'll tell you every statement will be given there they will give you incorrect okay that incorrect will be in slanting also okay italics also but what we will do since we are uh, we do not read the question completely we will miss this the entire question will become wrong okay so read question completely do not give up and then mark the answers then and there so if this is a question paper what i'll do is i'll read the question i'll mark the answer read the question mark the answer in the question paper itself i'm not answering it in the omr sheet so what happens 
finally we will realize that there is just 5 minutes and there there happens errors human errors every human makes errors that human errors will cost you one attempt do not do that mark it then and there check are you answering to the same question for example there are one uh, one two three four so what i'm answering i'm answering question number one question number two third question i'm not answering i don't know the answer what i have to answer four but instead i answer three do you understand how it how it occurs how the human errors occur so last time last minute of shading or you know uh, missing of concentration will cost you so many marks keep that in mind and then do not waste time on single question so especially this happens in terms of csat so if you do not know the answer we are not here to get 200 out of 200 so if you don't know one question skip to other question do not waste time on single question so one more thing can be done so you take a question paper okay so you are reading a question you know the answer for sure mark it immediately second question you are reading you have a confusion so don't answer it immediately keep it so in the first round you have to mark sure answers second round 50 50 that is you have eliminated two options only two options are remaining 50 50 answer should be uh, you know addressed in the second round third round you are coming so in third round what you are doing is i told you already 75 to 80 questions 85 questions should be answered if you are not answering 75 to 85 question even though you answered many question right you might not reach the cut off marks in terms of 75 to 85 questions you have not reached this limit so you have to take risk go to the third round where you have to take risk and calculated risk keep that in mind not just risk it should be a calculated risk you should know what you are doing there you use many techniques i have told you now we will have more uh, informations also related to problem in related to question solving techniques so this is how it it works so this is this is the correct way of attempting the prelims paper do not shade with pencils what we'll do this is the omr sheet what i'm doing is i'm not sure of the answer i shade with pencil you know it will become invalid i'm thinking that i will rub this and answer a here the shade will remain so this question itself will become invalid even though the answer is a what will happen this will become invalid okay so these kind of mistakes please do not do this is especially in terms of exam hall till before this whatever we spoke is in the preparation strategy this is in the exam hall actually the selection process starts from the preparation level itself the prelims is not the first level of selection process the selection process starts from the preparation itself how without a proper strategy without a proper plan you cannot clear this prelims so they know a bureaucrat will be a person with proper strategy and proper plan so you have a proper strategy and proper plan you clear this exam you become a bureaucrat okay this process you know i i every time i admire upsc because all the three level have a reason behind them the first level is the decision making process okay second is resource management whatever data you have whatever resource you have from various sources you just take it and form a very beautiful very justifiable answer you know near correct uh, not near correct the best answer should be given and third is personality test so when i meet a bureaucrat i should feel you know i should feel good i should feel safe i should feel i should have a confidence on that person yes that person will solve my problems so that is what is for personality test so all the three level has its own reason so upsc is such you know such beautiful exam process enjoy this process and you can enjoy only if you have a proper strategy and plan unless you have a proper strategy and plan plan you will get stressed and most importantly uh, do not discuss you know do not discuss uh, that you are preparing for the exam uh, with many people i'll tell you why uh, what happened is that some relations or some friends will be there who are not into the upsc field suddenly they'll ask some question that question actually will not be relevant to upsc but they will expect you to answer many think that you know preparing upsc means we should know everything we are not google okay upsc has its own requirements and you have to concentrate on that and prepare ignore these kind of negativity ignore when they ask question it's okay if you don't know the answer they are not question paper setters you are going to 
appear before an exam which the question paper is very simple if you have a very clear picture of what you are doing now okay so that is how this preparation process works so don't worry about anything i'm always with you all the best before the exam and we will all clear thank you so much for this so i told you how will i help you how will i help you let's see i have two telegram channels i told you and this is the link so one is uh, telegram upsc with subha so this upsc with subha is for gs general studies for all the three levels prelims mains and interview and third is anthro 300 so this anthro 300 plus is for anthropology especially for anthropology you can subscribe to these two and in an academy platform you can search for subha kirtana my picture will appear there so in that also you can follow me and there you have the uh, option of messaging me personally related to any doubts you have i will clarify you then and there and this is my facebook profile there you can just uh, you know ping me and you can ask me doubts over there also and do not forget to subscribe you can use my code sqba subha and you can get a 10 percentage of discount and most importantly you have you can like this video and then you can comment below this you know if you have any doubt your yeah, live chat also i'll be replying and if you have any doubt you can ask me subscribe to this channel because there are n number of videos coming in this channel especially for you people do not miss that okay sincerity is very important provided with if you have a proper notification that will definitely help you and subs and share it okay so not just you share it with your friends share it with your peer groups so everyone will get benefited okay in upsc sharing is scoring okay sharing is caring yes sharing is scoring that's very true okay so you will understand it when you clear this exam when you share it when you have a when you have a very sincere group it's it's success fine okay so thank you so much so if any doubt please do ask me i'm always here to help you and i am subhak kirtana we'll meet you again uh, today at 7 pm uh, we have a special class daily at 7 pm we have a special class on quick revision of current affairs for prelims so come there there we have a live class we can meet over there also bye bye thank you